so I was 17 when I found out I was pregnant. My boyfriend and I, at the time, were still in high school. I was 19 years old and found myself pregnant for the first time in crisis, going, oh no, what do I do? I got pregnant. It was an unplanned pregnancy. I had seriously considered abortion. My boyfriend at the time was completely against me having a baby. I myself faced a crisis pregnancy, and it was a, a really dark and devastating time for me. It wasn't something I'd ever planned for my life, and I felt really unequipped on how to deal with it. When a girl finds out she's in crisis pregnancy, she doesn't naturally go and Google a pro-life website. She just types in, am I pregnant? Or, oh no, I'm pregnant. The culture is so seeped in this message that what does an unplanned pregnancy lead to? An unplanned pregnancy leads to poverty. It leads to no career, no job, no future in your life. Society nowadays they really push a girl to get an abortion when she becomes pregnant. And sadly, you know, most of them will agree to it and do it. Abortion did flash through my mind. I could see how girls choose that in, in a time of crisis. I really can, not that I think it's right, but I can see how girls choose it as kind of that, okay, we'll make everything better. One of the big lies is that you can have a guilt-free, consequence-free abortion and just wake up the next morning and go on with your life. And we know that that's not true. These girls come into the site depressed with all sorts of problems and grief that they can't get rid of, health problems, and, and it's a simple solution. Like, th that isn't a solution, you know, but they're being told it is, and that it isn't a baby. Oh, it's just some cells, you know, just yeah, go have those little cells removed and we'll be fine. You know, that's another lie. Then why am I bawling my eyes out for two weeks straight and I can't get out of bed? Well, I, I have a story too, which surprises everyone. Um, I was once, many years ago, 16, pregnant and not married. And uh, I am the typical girl that comes to stand-up girl. Scared, what am I going to do? Um, Santa Girl wasn't around then, but that gives me an extra empathy and an extra excitement about Stand Up Girl and the ministry that it has. When a young woman is facing an unplanned pregnancy, there is so much fear and anxiety that's related to that. What Stand Up Girl helps give is hope. Even making contact with somebody that can say, it's okay to continue your pregnancy. It's okay not to have an abortion. One of the most incredible things about Stand Up Girl is it's so personal, but yet it's so public at the same time. And I can be having a conversation with one girl and all these other girls can read it at the same time. With Stand Up Girl, it's like taking what I could do at my Pregnancy Resource Center and amplifying it times a million because now you can reach out to all these girls all over the country, all over the world. I never forget the first letter I got telling me, your story has inspired me to keep my baby. And I remember it really clearly because I couldn't believe that Something so simple could be an inspiration to someone else and, and actually save the life of her baby. And one girl, Alejandra, came to me and she wrote me an email and told me that she was so thankful I had shared my story because it impacted her life and she chose abstinence until her wedding night as a result of my sharing my past and it's given her a brighter future. And so we're able to be there for them and say these things. And many, many girls choose abstinence when they come and talk to us and say, oh, there's another way. I'm not being a real, you know, whatever, you know, that's, that's okay to be that way. I'm like, yeah, yes, it's okay. It's good. That's, we're, we're meant to save ourselves for marriage. And, and well, I'll never find a guy who thinks that. Well, yes, you will. If you look hard enough, you will, you know, and wait for that. And, and you are worth waiting for. Just recently, I was writing to a girl through the Stand Up Girl website who found out that she was pregnant. 
and her boyfriend and parents all wanted her to have an abortion, but she felt like she didn't want to and she needed some help. So I was able to point her to some resources where she could go to a home for unwed mothers and have her baby, and she's planning to do that. And this is just one example of what happens every day through the Stand Up Girl website. One of the most exciting developments to come from Stand Up Girl is our brand new website, Love's Choice. This website came from our understanding that there are many times when it's not the very best thing for a young unmarried girl to raise her child. And in fact, it would be better for her and for the baby to be placed into a home through adoption. We understand there's a lot of misunderstanding about adoption, and that's why we created this site, so that we could clear up a lot of the misunderstandings. And through interviews with birth parents, interviews with adoptive parents, and interviews with adopted children, we are able to encourage these young girls to think seriously about adoption. We're also there for them after they have had an abortion. You know, we do have girls write in and say, oh, you know, I, I did go ahead and have the abortion and I'm, I'm just so devastated and I don't know what to do and I can't tell anyone and they told me I was going to be okay but I'm, I'm just not okay and I don't know if I'll ever be okay and I cry night and day. So we're able to be there for them in that too give them some advice of our own, but also send them on to counseling and to, you know, post-abortion centers and resources there. In my experience, the girls that come to the site are looking for somebody to tell them that they can do it. They're not looking for someone to tell them to have an abortion because other people are telling them to have an abortion, but they feel in their hearts that that's wrong. Girls respond tremendously. They will email you back and say, oh my gosh, I never thought of that, or thank you for letting me know that there are other options out there, or that I can bless another family, and that I don't have to stay with my boyfriend, that I can be a stand-up girl. And so stand-up girl has a unique role in that the internet doesn't go away, Right, the World Wide Web doesn't expire, and hopefully with some donor help, Stand Up Girl isn't just gonna come off the internet. And so we can be a part of that long-term success by you know, reaching them in that moment of crisis and helping to save their baby, and then from there, maintaining that connection. The world quite often will look at a girl 16, unmarried and pregnant, and say this is possibly the worst thing that could happen to her. We know better at Stand Up Girl. I know better. I was once 16, unmarried and pregnant. Becky was once young, unmarried and pregnant. Meg was once unmarried and pregnant, which all seemed a tragedy at that little snapshot in time. Now all of us, married, family, happy, there's a lot of life after 16 years old. We are fortunate at Stand Up Girl. We get to intervene in that one moment in time and help them choose life for their baby knowing full well that there is a whole life that is going to be full and blessed with this little child that we're able to help save at that moment.